is Nelly. I live in Israel and I'll tell you about my home reef aquarium. Many that watched my previous video in which I was diving in the aquarium and feeding the fish asked me for more information on the filtration and life support system that I will be happy to provide. I started the aquarium in January of 2012, so it will soon be 5 years old. It is a 30,000 liter tank and when adding the sump it is close to 37,000 liters or 10,000 gallons making it the largest home reef aquarium in Israel and probably one of the largest in the world. The aquarium is located in my living room while the sump and filtration are located one floor below the aquarium so the aquarium water falls 6 meters or 18 foot from the aquarium overflow to the sump. I use that waterfall to create foam and skim it out through a self-built skimmer that I will show you later. I use four 25,000 liters per hour pumps to return the water from the sump to the aquarium for a total of 100,000 liters or 27,000 gallons per hour, a little over three times the water capacity of the tank. Two of the four return pumps are connected to a self-built frequency control system that changes the frequency or the speed of the two return pumps to create waves. The pumps operate at full speed for 5 seconds and low speed for another 5 seconds. The self-built skimmer doesn't use power. It uses the entire 27,000 gallons per hour of water falling from the overflow to create the foam that is immediately removed rather than being collected. There is an infrared system, a transmitter and a receiver to detect the foam level in the skimmer. Once the level is high, the two speed controlled pumps will work at lower speed and when the foam level is low, the pumps will work at higher speed. That way, the foam level is kept at a desired level. Every hour, the two pumps will run at full speed for one minute to clean the skimmer. So to summarize, of the four return pumps, two work constantly at full speed to return the water from the sump, while the other two that are speed controlled return the water from the sump, create waves, keep the foam level at the skimmer steady for ongoing operation, and high for cleaning. I use sunlight for the corals to a filter that can turn on and off. I keep it on for the entire summer and it is mostly off during the winter. There are also four 100 watt LEDs for the evening hours. Phosphate level is high at around 0.5, so next step is to use my huge sump as a refuge in an attempt to reduce phosphate to low levels. Right now there is a small, not sufficient refuge in a separate aquarium. I add calcium chloride and sodium carbonate daily to keep calcium at 450 and alkalinity at 7. I don't use other trace elements but I do add 1000 liters of natural seawater weekly and remove the excess water through the cleaning of the skimmer and wet skimming.
that's it for the talking part. Thanks for listening. Hope you found it interesting. Please enjoy my tank.